if you are trying to download an application from the Google Play Store but what you see on the screen is download pending message and if this download pending message stocks forever then let us see some of the ways by which you can fix this issue now first thing what you can do is simply restart your Android device after restarting again open Google Play Store and again try to download the app and see if you can download or not now the other common reason for this one is because you don't have a strong internet connection in your Android device so try to open a website or try to open a YouTube video and play and check if it runs smoothly or not if you see that there is a strong internet connection but still you can't download apps from the Google Play Store then let us see some of the ways by which you can try to fix this issue so the next thing what you need to check is you need to see how much of a space is left in your android device you should have at least some space left in your device so that the applications can download and install so what we will do is we will go to settings go to device care go to storage here and from we will here we will check how much of space is left in your our device for me out of 64 gigabyte I have used 30.7 gigabyte that means I have enough space left for application to download and install if you don't have then you need to make sure that you delete unnecessary applications and file and then make space so that the application can download and install if you see that there is space left in an Android device but still the app is not downloading then what we can do is we will open settings we will go to apps here then we will scroll down and then we have to look for is google play store open it now go to storage here select clear cache and then select clear data and then ok so this will remove the cache files and data from the google play store now the other thing what you can do is go back and then tap on these three dotted icons here go to system maps and look for an application here download manager open it tap on the storage and from here also we will clear the cache and data for the download manager so clear cache clear data ok so once we have cleared the cache files and the data for google play store and download manager try to see if you can download the application from google play store or not now the other thing what we can do is if uh, this doesn't work you can remove the latest version of google play store from your device and uh, roll it back to the factory version and check if you can download the application from google play store or not for that one what we'll do is we will go to settings we'll go to apps we will scroll down and then we will look for google play store we will tap on these three dotted icons here and select uninstall updates and then what does this do is this will replace this app with the factory version all data will be removed select ok so the latest version of the google play store will be removed from your device and your device will have the factory version of the google play store now check if you can download and install the apps from google play store or not now if nothing fixes this issue the last option for you is to reset your android device to the factory state and then try to see if this will fix the issue or not but when you reset your device to the factory state all the data from the device will be removed so make sure to back up your android device then only reset your device now if you want to reset your device what you do is go to the settings here then go to the general management go to reset go to factory data reset now you can see what are the, what are the documents or the data which will be removed for your device and you, you will also see whatever applications you have installed the accounts which you have saved in your device it will be removed so if you want to reset then scroll down and select reset so once you have reset your android device you can restore your intro device from the backup which you have done before and then check if you can download the applications from google play store or not hopefully this should fix this issue thank you for watching this video 
please like and share this video if you find it helpful also click on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon to get the notification of our latest videos for free